Hey guys, Clint Serber with Sakara Kayaks. Trying to build your own skin on frame kayak? Having issues getting around that table of offsets? Watch this video, I'll simplify it for you. For this demonstration, we're going to go to yoastworks.org. I'll leave a link in the description. Yoastworks.org is a great resource for building kayaks. It's got free offsets, tips, tricks. Once you're on the home page, you want to go to Wood Frame Kayak Builder Manual, Kayak Designs, and introduction and for today's demonstration we're going to do we'll do the sea rider now the sea rider is a single chine kayak so you have the gunnel and a single chine scroll all the way to the bottom of the page and you'll see the link to the sea rider offsets and here is the drawing and the offset table. Um, as you see here, this is a an eight cross section kayak. And for today, we're just going to draw uh, cross section three because it has a has a deck ridge. And as you can see, it's it's in decimal feet. We want to convert. The decimal feet into inches to make it a little easier for us to draw. So we're going to need to get a decimal feet to inches calculator. Decimal feet to inches. And the first thing that pops up is DaveOsborne.com conversion of inches to decimal feet. If you scroll down here to the bottom, you'll see the calculator. We can enter in our decimal feet and it will give us inches. So we'll go back to our table of offsets, cross section 3, keel, HAB, that's your height above base, um, chine is HB, HAB, that's a half breadth, and the height above base, and we'll get more into that when we start drawing. But for right now, we're going to convert this into some actual drawable measurements. So our keel is 0.019. Let's go and convert that. 0.019. And it gives us 7.30 seconds. So we'll go ahead and we'll draw that here. 7.30 seconds. Go back to our offset table. And our half breadth for the chine is 0.589. Like that. That's seven inches, seven and one sixteenth inch. There you go seven one sixteen. And then our height above base is 0.138. One and twenty-one thirty seconds of an inch. Thirty seconds. Our gunnel half breath point seven four three. Convert eight twenty nine thirty seconds. Back to the offsets. Height above base for the gunnel point five seven eight. Convert six and five sixteenths, almost seven inches. 15 sixteenths. I 
Right now our deck ridge at point seven one. Eight, seventeen, thirty seconds. Like I said, you do this for all eight of the cross sections, convert them over to uh, workable inches, and then uh, draw them out. Alright, now that we've converted our cross sections from decimal feet to actual inches that we can work with, I like to use this uh, ghost line invisible grid poster board. It has uh, invisible ghost lines on it, helps you keep things square. It's going to be hard to see in the video, but there are ghost lines on there. So what we want to start out doing is establishing our baseline. So you can just line this up along your bottom ghost line and establish your baseline. There you go. So now I think we got baseline. Now in the center of the poster board. I'm about right on each side. You want to find the center here on that ghost line right there. So then you just follow your ghost line up, line everything up, and then draw your center line. Alright, so now you have baseline, center line. Now we're going to mark the position of our keel, which we converted over to 730 seconds. And it's always best to have a ruler that has 30 seconds on it. So we're going to line this up. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Make a mark. There's a height of our keel, 7.30 seconds. Now, we're going to mark our half breadth for the chine number one, the only chine in this boat. And so you're, it's going to be half the distance from the center line on each side, which was 7 and a 16th. So we'll line this up. Seven and a sixteenth will make a mark. And on the other side, seven and a sixteenth. Make another mark. All right. Now we're going to mark our height above base for chine one our height above base and we can follow our our ghost lines keep us square is 1 and 21 30 seconds 1 and 21 30 seconds so we know there's 32 seconds in an inch so we're gonna count back 11 one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Make a mark. Okay. We'll do the same for the other side. Keeping it square. Following the ghost lines as a guide. We're going to go. I've already made a mark on the tape, so we're going to go 1 and 21, 30 seconds. All right. At this point, we are going to connect our lines.
from the height above base, chine one, to our, our keel. There's one. And there's two. So these points here, these are our offsets. All right. Now we're going to draw the the gunnels. So our half breadth from center line is eight and twenty nine thirty seconds. So we're gonna go eight. And it's three thirty seconds short of nine. Three, there we go. Make a mark. Same thing on the other side. Make a mark. Ah. Our height above base from this mark was uh, 6 and 15 sixteenths, so almost 7 inches. So you can always round up if you want to. So we're going to line this up with our baseline. Use our ghost grid to keep a square. And we're going to go up 6 and 15 sixteenths, which is right there. Make a mark, come to the other side. Do the same thing. Get it lined up. Six and fifteen sixteenths. Make a mark. All right. So at this point, we're now going to connect the gunnel offset with the chine offset. So what's left is height above base for the deck ridge. Our deck ridge is 8 and 17, 30 seconds. So our deck ridge is going to come straight up the center line. Get square. It's going to be 8 and 17, 30 seconds. Boom. Okay, and at this point we're going to connect our deck ridge to the, the top of our gunnel. And there you have it. And there is the beginning of your cross-section template. At this point we're going to add our gunnels and our chines in the location that they went. So what I've done is I've, I've cut out uh, templates for the gunnel which is going to be one and a half inches long by five eighths and the chine, the keel and the deck ridge which is going to be one inches long by five eighths, five eighths wide. So we're going to set this up. I'm going to take the tip of your gunnel template and put it at the tip top corner bring us up to the side. 
doesn't matter that you got a little bit of overhang. So we're going to trace this. And boom. You've got your gunnel traced out. Now we're going to do it on the other side and bring the tip of the template up into the corner. Get it lined up nice and even. And then we're going to draw. And there we go. All right, now we're going to draw the chine. And the chine works the same way that the gunnel did. You're going to bring it down to the corner. And we're going to trace around the chine template. Oh, that got a little squirrely. And we're going to do the same thing on the other side. So now our chines and our gunnels are established on the poster board. Now we're going to want to put our our keel in. Now the keel is one inch, but we only want three quarters of that up in up in there. So from our center line at the keel we're going to mark three quarters of an inch there's three quarters okay and then we're going to bring our template up there and make sure that we're centered up trace around our template. Boom. We're going to do the same thing to the deck ridge. Come down three quarters of an inch. Mark it. I'm going to center this up. And you can use uh, I'm using the ghost line grids too to center all this up. You'll see what I mean when you start using this stuff. Alright, now we're going to trace around the template. Nope, that was not three quarters of an inch. That is three quarters of an inch. Measure twice, cut once. And there you go. Now your chines, gunnels, the keel, and the deck ridge is laid out. Now what we want to do is uh, scallop the insides between the gunnels, the chines, the keels. And you can do the deck ridge too. I don't ever do it because there's enough pitch from the deck ridge and the the gunnels to keep the polyester or ballistic nylon whatever you're using to skin your boat with off of the frame so what I'm going to do I'm going to place this on some cardboard because I'm going to use some push pins and a dowel to make our arcs So we're going to take our first push pin and we're going to pop it right here in our first yeah. Yeah. in there. Take our second push pin and uh, we're actually going to measure about 
three quarters out. from our keel center line. Make a mark here and if we're gonna drop our point. Three quarters, there we go. And drop the push pin. And halfway between the push pins, that's about six and a half inches, so we're going to go three and a quarter inches. Make a mark, and we're going to want to come a half inch up from that point. Make that half inch. All right, so we've got our half inch marked. We're going to take another one of these T pins. Poke it in at that mark. Now, take our dowel. Gonna get it in there. We can draw. It's always helpful to have somebody hold this stuff for you. See how it makes this arc. And then we make our arc. There we go. We're going to repeat the process on the other side. We're going to pull our push pins. Push pin. Should have the same distance between the pins that we did before. We do it six and a half, so let's go three and a quarter. Mark that. And come up half an inch. Mark that. Get our push pins in place. Pull this one out. And then we're just going to bend this up. Drop our push pin in. And we have our arc. Draw this arc here. There you go. Uh, shaping up to look more like a cross section. We're going to want to do the same thing between our chines and our gunnels. Drop those T-pins there at the top of the chine and the bottom of the gunnel. Find our halfway point we can add about three and a quarter inches so here we go right there we're going to come a half inch in make a mark drop our pin in it You can always draw this directly onto your plywood, but I like drawing it this way so you, in case you want to build more than one. This one's going to be tricky. This is too much to bend. Have to eyeball this one. There we go. 
We'll do the same thing on the other side. Attempt to do the same thing on this end. I see this. Uh This is going to get cut away. This will be cut away. All this will be cut away. This. This. Cut away. Cut away. Now for the center. It's best to have about an inch width all the way around this thing. Now between your keel and your deck ridge, you're only going to have about three quarters of an inch. So at this point we're going to make a three quarter inch measurement from what is the, the top of the keel? I'm going to come up three quarters of an inch. That's the minimum amount of wood we want to have between the bottom of the cross section and the top of the, the keel. Same thing with the deck ridge three quarters of an inch. Now, this guy, if you follow these ghost lines, we want to come down an inch make a mark here on the outside or you can make one here now what you want to do is connect your one inch line coming down an inch coming down three quarters of an inch from the deck ridge and we will connect those guys we can do the same thing over here An inch. All right, so that gives us three quarters of an inch below the deck ridge and one inch up here. All right, so from the inside of the the uh, gunnel and the chine, we want about an inch of an inch of wood. So let's mark this as an inch, and the same thing down here. About an inch. And 
connect them. There you go. You do the same thing up here. An inch. An inch. Connect them. Alright. Now, from our half inch mark, I'm going to want to come up. About three quarters, three quarters of an inch. And then we'll connect the lines. Boom. And if you feel like that's not enough real estate between you and the water, you can always adjust it up. This is how I do it. Boom, there you go. Your cross section is drawn out. All you have to do now is use an X Acto knife and cut it out. So as I mentioned before, this, this will be cut out. Throw away. And this is what you're left with.